In this week's video, I'm going to show you how we went from this slide to this slide. Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cow mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Slack Cow's Design a Good Slide series. We're on episode eight. My name is Yoyo, and I'm here to help you make your slides amusing. So this week's email reads, Dear Yoyo, thanks so much for this series. It's a wealth of knowledge. I have an informal presentation coming up and was wondering if I could have your support. You see, I'm doing a presentation entitled Three Awesome Ways to Change Your Life. It's not much, but I really want an eye-catching and creative front slide. Do you think you can show me how to do this? Stacy R. Stacy, I'm on it. This slide right here is going to be transformed into something amusing. Let's get started. Step one, set up the text. Alrighty, so assuming that we have a blank slide, the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna head over to insert, click on text box, draw something out wherever, and type in the number three. Yes, just three, no other text. We're gonna center it. We're gonna change the font into uh, Fredoka one which is a Google font, by the way. And let's change the font size to something huge. I'm thinking something like 170. Boom, look at that huge number three right there. Let's just reduce the box size a bit. And let's place it just over here for now. We'll fix everything else up later. Second thing I'm gonna do is bring in another text box by heading over to insert, clicking on text box over here, and just typing in the word awesome. And I'm gonna change this text box to another font, which is Pacifico, right there. And I'm gonna center that and make the font size to around 55. Boom, looks great. Let's just bring those guys in together like this. Alrighty, that looks good. Third thing I'm gonna do is bring in our third text box by going into insert, clicking on text box and just drawing anything out like you see here and type in ways to change your life. We're gonna go back to Fredoka one, which is the font we use in the number three over here. So let's just change that. And let's make everything uppercase. Let's also center it and change the font size to around 30. That looks fantastic. Let's just position it like this. Just make sure everything looks good. Now let's get into a little explanation of what I did. I used two separate fonts, but for the same slide. Is that something you want to do all the time? No. But is it something you want to do once in a while to get that creative flair, you know, to try and really bring out the best of your slide? Yes, absolutely. Because if you look at this slide right now, you're going to look at the big number three, and then you're going to look at awesome in a different font, and then ways to change your life. It's a very good way for your audience to read that message, interpret it, get excited. And it's also a great way for us to set the tone for the entire presentation. But we're still not done. I think we can add a little bit more. I'm gonna head over to insert. I'm gonna click on shapes and then I'm gonna click on this line over here and just draw out a line from the A all the way to the E. Let's just change the color for now. I will change it later. And let's also change the shape outline to around Let's go with four and a half for now. And I'm just gonna duplicate this underneath over here. Maybe move things round a bit, just to make sure that everything looks good. All right, that looks awesome. Step two, bring on the style. Alrighty, so over here, I'm gonna head on over to insert, click on shapes, click on this circle, and draw out a big circle like this. Then I'm gonna go to home, arrange, align, align center, and then arrange, align, align middle, and then right click and then click on send to back. Now let's take a look at that. I think the circle's a bit too big, so let's make it a tad smaller. I still think we can make it smaller. Alrighty, that looks great. I love that. With that done, we can start coloring in. So first things first, the three is going to be a yellow. The ways to change your life will also be yellow. 
the awesome will be a white. The two lines over here will be the dark blue color that I have set aside just over there. And the circle, we're going to remove the outline first of all. And we're going to go to eyedropper and click on this pink color over here. But we're still not done. Let's click on the circle, duplicate it. Let's change the color to yellow. Set it just over there. Make it bigger than the original circle. Right click and then click on send to back. And with the circle still selected, I'm going to go to format, shape effect, and then click on soft edges and click on that, which is the 10 point soft edge mark. Awesome. And that is the second step completed. Step three, bring in the picture. So before we do anything, I'm just going to make a blank slide and I'm going to be using this picture right over here. Now, you might be asking, how do I bring in pictures like YouTube? Where do you find these pictures? SlideCow has you covered, my friends. Please click on the info button on the top right corner. You will be taken to a blog post on slidecow.com that will direct you to four websites where you can get beautiful images just like these for free. So with that said, let's just close this. Let's blow this image up and make sure it takes up a large part of our slide. Just like that. And let's crop it into the slide canvas. So one over here and one over here. Awesome. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this image, click on format, go to color and change this to saturation zero, which effectively makes this a black and white image. I'm then going to head on over to insert, click on shapes, click on this rectangle right over here and just draw out a rectangle on the slide and make it pink. Remove the outline and go to more fill colors and change the transparency to around 50%. And then it's just a matter of me copying what we did before and just pasting it here and loving life. There you go. There's your awesome creative slide. Let's just bring that up into full screen. Boom. I love it. It looks great. And it was so easy to do. So easy to do. All right, guys, that's it from me this week. I will see you next week. Be sure to go to slackout.com. And also, if you like this video, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, don't do any of those things. It's all up to you. Have a great one. Bye-bye.